What's up, guys? I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way and how I got those 104,000 gems in All-Star Tower Defense. Now, make sure you guys watch the entire video because I got eight super awesome methods that you guys can use to grind those gems super fast. And trust me, you won't want to miss a single one. Especially important because of the new announcement that we are going to be able to convert gems into Stardust right here on the screen for proof. Also, guys, before you hop on into it, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button at 300k subs. You're getting a new code unit and who knows, maybe a new new gem code as well and remember if you don't subscribe we'll never get the code so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button We're all right guys the first method i'm going to show you you guys can do it anytime there's no limit and it's infinite all right so the easiest method and don't worry guys i'll show you guys a ton more methods the easiest method here is the afk chamber all right now then you actually get a bonus if you are premium or vip and i'm going to show you guys exactly how much you get all right so if you stay in the time chamber for one hour this is how much you'll get all right, if you stay in the time chamber for six hours, this is how much you'll get. All right, if you stay in the time chamber for 12 hours, this is how much you'll get. All right, how about, how about a whole day? So that is definitely a pretty sweet way to get gems, guys, if you just want to AFK. But don't forget to bring an auto clicker like Tiny Task, OP Auto Clicker, or GS Auto Clicker. All right, guys, now the second best method is codes. Now we're actually expecting three new codes actually four so uh yeah we got a ton of new codes coming to the game so make sure to hit the subscribe button so we get my 300k code and i'll show you guys all the working codes right now all right the first one we have is two anniversary duo all right for 5k gems we have time chamber fix for 100 gems and 20 stardust and then we have new star code for 90 stardust all right, the next best method we have, guys, is the damage task. Now, the problem with this is it's not infinite yet. All right, however, there is a leak that I do believe needs a new damage task. I'll show you that on the screen right now. All right, so if you do complete your damage task, you should be getting over 100,000 gems straight up. All right, now, if you're wondering what unit you should use to complete your damage task, I have a video on it, but I'll just tell you guys right now, this guy right here will end. All right, so let's take a look, guys. So I'm about to fire it off. Take a look at my damage, guys. Two billion right here. Yeah, so the thing is, you want to make sure the enemies is full on the field. All right, there's Exodia, and then look at my damage. Look at that, guys. 302 billion in just one hit. Instantly completes your damage task in less than an hour, man. It is freaking insane. All you guys got to do is wait for the map to be full of enemies and use this guy's OP ability. And you guys will max out your damage task and easily get over 100,000 gems. All right, method three, we have the ticket. All right, now this one is straight up OP, all right? You can do it once for free every day, plus you get tickets in the star pass, so you can do it even more often, all right? So definitely be using up your tickets, guys. Now, I'm going to show you guys what team I use right now. All right, I like to use Uryu for airs, Blackbeard for slows, Bomba for money, Speedwagon works just fine, but I'm going to try to show you using units that are easy to get. All right, then we have Erwin for buff, and this guy is our main DPS unit. He's freaking busted. All right, let's go hop on in real quick, and I'll show you guys how to easily solo this on extreme mode to get 1,000 to 1,500 gems per run. All right, first off, what I like to do is I like to place this bad boy right to X speed always, guys. We got to save time. This is the fastest method always. All right, I like to put him here so he hits over here as well as over here. All right, then I like to click extreme mode. Now, if you can't beat extreme, guys, feel free to do normal mode. However, you're going to get slightly less gems per run. All right, and make sure you guys always vote for this one unless you need something in a specific banner. All right, always choose chances for this. The best one for sure all right one thing to remember is these units do have enchant so try to bring units that have enchantments this guy's the dark enchant now it actually always is blue now for some reason they glitched it it used to be a random element but now it's always blue so feel free to use something like golden frieza if you guys don't have this guy or any lightning units they'll do like triple damage it's gonna be pretty freaking insane all right so this guy's gonna literally solo pretty much everything there all right, flawless. So uh, what I like to do next is buy a money unit. All right, so we got Bomba five star down. Now definitely feel free to use Speedwagon as well. All right, you're gonna notice that uh, pretty much everything is good to go. All right, the only thing you have to really worry about is these air units, but they have so little HP, I'm not even worried about it. All right, now if you do take a look, your your base does have some HP, so don't don't fret too much. And uh, we'll just place this bad boy down right here, which should candle all of those stinking air units. There we go, guys. Three K a pop. Bang bang. All right, bang and bang. All right, there we go. And we'll place another one for good measure in a second. All right, because they also help with the rage units. 
All right, perfect. And then we're going to go farm up a little bit as well. All right, the main key thing is to farm up as much as possible so you can get a Blackbeard down ASAP, which is going to make this so much easier. And then just use Erwin buff on top of this guy right here for the main damage. All right. All right, then we'll place another guy for any rages that get through. And I like to just spread out the love. All right, that's my number one strategy right there. And of course, it makes you guys spam as many upgrades on Balma as you can. That is legitimately crucial. Otherwise, you won't have a great day. All right, and I'll put one on last here as well. All right, you might see some powerfuls coming through. So make sure you guys just upgrade either this guy or one of your um uh, your Uryus. And you, they'll handle those powerfuls fairly, fairly easily. All right, and don't forget, guys, to spam upgrades on Balma as much as you can. Otherwise, you won't be able to beat the last waves. Now, you don't actually have to beat the last waves to do well in this game mode. So don't fret too much about it. Honestly, I don't even think the boss gives you anything. So it's literally stupid to waste your time killing the boss. You might as well just leave the game early. All right, like legitimately speaking. So th this is a pretty good strategy. Now, if you run this in duos, it's not—it's a little bit harder because this guy doesn't solo as well, but you should still be fine. And remember guys, spam as many upgrades as you can on Balma. That's gonna be crucial because you wanna have one of these guys as high level as possible when we get to a later the later waves. All right, or you can just level up these Uryus too. They should be a pretty nice guy to use. You can see, look at that guys, always 20... This guy's already doing 140k damage with like bleed, etc. So we're going to actually place one more back here in case anything slips through, like that guy right there. And then we're going to go spam some more upgrades on Balma. There we go. Perfection. All right, on wave 11, stop upgrading and place down Blackbeard's ASAP. All right, there we go. I like to place one last here. The key is to slow all the rages. If you don't slow the rages, they will literally wreck you like that guy almost did right there. All right. So make sure you guys slow the rages as much as possible, and you guys should have a pretty nice time. So I'm just going to spam a couple of these guys in case these guys kill me. All right, that guy killed me. Don't worry about it, guys. You're still going to get a lot of gems. Uh, maybe this is a little bit hard to do on extreme mode, so feel free to do normal. And feel free to bring better units than I did or seven. All right, so you guys can see how many gems we got from just a little bit of waves. Obviously, if you go farther, you'll get more gems. And if you beat it, you'll definitely get around 1,000 to 1,500. All right, guys, the next best method is actually infinite mode. You can do this while you're damage farming as well if you don't have Yugi yet. All right, so let's go over here and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. All right, so if you go in these chambers, you're gonna notice like a gazillion different options, all right? So regulars are grouped together. So just look at these four options, all right? So every time you get 10 waves, so example, if you get to wave 10, you'll get like a 20 gem, like a 40 gem bonus. Wave 20, you'll get another 40 gems, wave 30, etc. And you can do that once per day and it resets whenever you see this daily reward counter, all right? So that means, and honestly, you can easily get to wave 80 if you have decent units. So if you get to wave 80 on regular, category, air, and double path all in the same day, each one of those should easily give you 500 to 700 gems, all right? And if you get even farther, farther you'll get paid even more, all right? So that is a great method, and you can easily get 2,000 gems per day from that. And of course, that, got, that is infinite and resets every single day. All right, so now we have method number five. Now, this one you can do once every day. If you complete all four of these tasks, guys, you'll get a bonus. I believe it's a bonus 300 gems, all right? All you have to do is complete all these tasks. So you get 25, 45, and wow, 15 Stardust, and another 300 gems if you complete the, all your daily tasks. So that is a great little way to get some gems. All right, next up, we have one of my old favorites. Now, unfortunately, this one is actually not... Uh, unlimited all right we have this task right here all right it's called the evolve task every time you evolve about five units you're gonna get 25 more gems now i love to stack this when i'm doing extreme infinite mode with the exp unit so now every time i evolve an exp unit i'm getting lots and lots of gems all right also you can also do the collect so you can like trade your like collect a lot of gold units or trade your friends and get lots of free gems from collecting units that's a great way to go um also we have if you complete story mode, you get the mounts and some gems. I Yeah, you just get mounts. Now, levels, I think you used to get gems, but now it gives you Stardust. All right. Now, this event only gives you Stardust. doesn't give you any gems. All right. So, those are like methods like what? Five, six, and seven, I think, of the best way to get gems. All right. Now, let me show you guys the final method. All right. Now, this one is a lot harder. This one, you're going to have to complete the Star Pass for. Now, you're going to see there's actually a ton of gems in this. All right. Each time you unlock one of these tiers, is 90 gems. So 90, 180, 270, uh, 360, uh, 450, 4, 540, 630. 
All right, you guys can see you're going to get around one to 2,000 gems per side. And if you complete both sides, guys, it's easy 4,000 gems. And I do have lots of Stardust methods on, I mean, uh, lots of Star Pass methods on my channel that you guys can check out. And honestly, guys, I'm going to show you guys my favorite one right now on the screen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe so you guys get my new code unit.